Hello everyone, this is Jinnay P. Jaga or Sarcastic CJ, your host and well look at it, the video quality has improved. I just bought some stuff and here is the video quality. Well, uh, after that, uh, this is another author's podcast uh, where I take interview of a very, very great friend of mine. Uh, I mean, you could say a teacher of mine in a way. And uh, a chess player as well. Uh, he is a FIDE master, one of very few in my home state, Punjab. And I'm going to take the view of his book, uh, uh, Road to a World Chess Title. So he won the World Amateur Chess Championship under 2300 FIDE rating uh, in 2018. Well, if you haven't, if you don't know the guy's name, he's Mr. Arvinder Preet Singh. He's actually the uh, member or I think the president, I'm not sure about that, of the LDCA, the Lithuanian District Chess Association. I have actually been part in several tournaments organized by him and won many of them, as you know, I'm crack. Uh, and he talks about a lot in this book about his hardships he faced in his life actually how he um, shifted from being a hockey player to a chess player and I really wanted to take his interview because I share a lot of things with him in this book he has actually also given uh, several like I think 20-25 games which he considers to be uh, one of uh, his best ever games played and funny enough it contains a game of my uh, friend uh, Bhavesh Mahajan who you may see in the comments here now here now then in my videos and uh, well uh, it's a great book I, I'm still reading it I'm analyzing his games and I'm knowing a lot of it and well I hope you like the video yay <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Arvinder. It's a pleasure to meet you today here. Good evening, Chinmay. Yeah. Uh, Thank you for calling me here. Yeah, it's a pleasure. So, uh, I think we uh, we know each other really well. Uh, I have been participating in a lot of the tournaments, uh, in your tournaments specifically. So, uh, before that, let us focus on the book. Yeah. Uh, what actually inspired you to write this book? I won that World well, Amateur title in 2018. And uh, uh, I was the first player from Punjab to have such a big title in chess. So I wanted to share my experience, my journey of 22 years, how I achieved this with the next generation of chess players. I wanted to tell them how a career of a ch uh, chess player is, how uh, what challenges he has to face in his throughout his career. I put all my experience, like in the, all this stuff of 22 years, in this book. Uh, I wanted to share this with the, with the next generation of chess players. That is why I made it. Write this book. Well, I would also love to write a book if I won a title. Oh, Unfortunately, I haven't. Uh, looking in the book, you have uh, you have specified that you uh, were uh, are, uh, and currently even are a self coached player. Yeah. And looking at that, and I'm also being playing chess for quite a while uh, how can you cope up uh, with uh, preparing yourself and doing other activities like studies and other sports as well and as you specific yeah actually i started playing chess in 1996 that time chess was not that popular in punjab and there were no chess coaches and no chess literature available here so I, you have to work your own i search books good books from chess market and rarely i got any good chess book I got some few and then I uh, read that books and uh, I got uh, my coach Rajiv Nayarji. Uh, I got uh, help from him. He was the one of the topmost player. Luckily, he was uh, residing near my house, so I got some coaching from him. Then I uh, my father father was a librarian in an institute. There was the Indian Express newspaper, and that I got chess problems every week from that that newspaper. And something like that, I put my own efforts to get the material and to get my practice. Then systematically, after four or five years of struggle, I got uh, help from Ashwini Tiwari, the first FIDE master of Punjab. 
he was good in computer and technology he wanted he, uh, he guided me how to use the computers and how to how can you use this technology to improve the chess and then he guided me in this field and we practiced together and that made me improve much and and then i uh, then i got from uh, experience and played some tournaments learned from the se uh, senior players that how they practice some they guided me and i started i systematically then i divided my practice in four parts opening middle game and the game and the practical play i put 25% my time on each of these field and that uh, made me improve my chess standard in all these fields and that systematically chess practice that made me excel at the chess at the world level that's and what i did i need to write those <laughs> tips down I'm doing something wrong i see uh, you talked about uh, 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 our, our librarian yeah yeah my father was librarian yeah uh, so uh, I am a book nerd myself. As you can see, there are a lot of books here, yeah. and there are a lot of books in my videos. Yes. A lot. And I, I love to read books. Mm. That's just what I wanted to add. Mm. Uh, and uh, as soon as somebody talks for a library, I jump in. Like, oh, yeah, library. <laughs> and uh, even uh, books have actually a great impact on me. Like, yes. uh, I am also a football player, as I think some of my viewers know that. Mm. Uh, I am. I uh, specifically did not really learn how to play football by being in the field. I read a book and is done how to play football. Yes. Uh, and I seen the case. Like, now I have been reading several chess books of Igor Smirnov and mm -hmm. uh, Yacht's chess book Thank yourself. You. And uh, I seem to be learning more by reading books. So was it anything like if I I really learned something by reading books? So. Is there anything where you uh, get to know about something by no doing something? Actually, reading books will give you theoretical knowledge of a field, but ultimately you have to implement that theoretical knowledge in the practical. So you have to read books and do some practical of that field. Only then you will get expertise in that field. Like you read chess books and play chess tournaments or chess games, that will make you a good chess player. So both these things have their own importance. Uh, reading books will make you give you a theoretical knowledge, but you have to implement that knowledge in your field. Like if you read uh, football books, you can't become a, a Ronaldo yeah. or a Messi. You have to play football on the field, yes. and you have to work on it. That yeah. that will make you a good yeah. football player only. I mean, that's how I got to know. Uh, uh, yeah, you can gain the knowledge from the books, but ultimately you have to implement yeah, in the yeah, field. Yeah. Talking about implementation. Uh, you had, uh, you as I have told in the book, you spent a lot of time in sports. You put your sports as the first priority as I interpret it. Yes. Uh, and I am a very serious person, maybe because I am just in grade 11. Uh, so how did you like, cope up with studies uh, in your time and looking at the hardships uh, you faced at that time? Yeah, actually sports was my preference at every time I would study but it's not a, that good for all the students I don't I will not say that uh, you should always all should take a sports as a first preference obviously studies is a first preference uh, it should be but uh, uh, I love I love playing hockey then I shifted to chess uh, I just manage my studies like uh, I just get past my class I was not a topper actually what you have to do is if you want to excel in any field you have to put your whole energy in that field and uh, if you want to become a scientist, you have to study science or something such as study. If you want to excel in sports, then you have to put your whole energy in sports and you have to uh, practice it uh, more than 8 to 10 hours. So that will not give you energy to study for 4 5 hours or 8 hours. So actually you have to take your direction and what you want to do, you should follow your inner instinct. That's what I did. And I followed that I wanted to, at uh, earlier years in my school, I wanted to play hockey. I left my good school and went to the some Punjabi medium school to play just to play hockey because they have a hockey team. Mm -hmm. Then I, at some stage, I wanted that I wanted to play chess. Now I don't want to play hockey anymore. <laughs> then took my in, uh, decision that I want to play hockey. Uh, sorry, chess. Then I shifted to chess and left the chess, uh, hockey. In, in fact, I could have become a good hockey player because my classmates uh, played for India and they were they are good. Uh, they were good hockey players of India. I could have become a but 
okay, fine, I, I, I love chess, playing chess at that stage and shifted towards and I have a good uh, world title in chess as well. So I have no regrets for that. But I followed my inner instinct and you should, uh, players should also follow their inner instinct. Everyone should follow theirs. If you, are, uh, if you want to become a good in study, you should uh, focus on studies and if you want to I will want to excel in sports and you have to put your whole energy and uh, you have to dedicate to towards that game or only then you can excel in that field. That's what I did. Yeah, I don't see any argument against that. Uh, I, I think the viewers might not know it, but I know that you are part of the organization in yeah. uh, the Under Switch Association, yes. which also uh, has organized a lot of tournaments in which I have won. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. uh, and, uh, uh, so, th- looking about like, you said in 1996, chess was not a really big thing in Punjab. Mm-hmm. And now, uh, looking at the, the intensity of the game, as I am seeing it uh, in constantly several tournaments, like uh, I used to play Sohodhyas uh, four to five years ago, and the hall would be okay, there are 30, 40 players. Now there are like 100, 150 mm-hmm. players. So, is there like a graph? Uh, by which Punjab can actually catch up to the other southern states of Punjab in terms of chess or is there any improvement being seen or any tournament uh, practice being done by the association? Yeah, uh, it, it, it can, be, can be done but if you see, there is, uh, India is dominating in the world chess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, in the Recently the World Cup is going on and in top 8 India has 4 players in that. So no doubt India is a dominating chess power in the world. Mm-hmm. But if you see the contribution of Punjab in chess, that's far behind. Mm-hmm. We don't have a grand master still now. We have only one international master and three fide masters in Punjab. I'm the one of them fide master. So we don't have a much high standard players of chess in Punjab. So there are a lot of differences. Our associations, our government has to do a lot of work. First, we have to create the quantity of players. Only then we can hope for a quality of players from them. If you have a number of uh, thousand players playing, then then we can hope a grandmaster or a, a international master coming from that a number of players. But we d- we see if uh, in Punjab, I think only 200, 300, some maximum 400 players are playing chess at all age levels. You can see. So we have to work on uh, grassroots level and organize chess tournaments at grassroots level in school. We have to increase the number of school tournaments, junior tournaments. So that maximum number of players join playing chess. Their chess has its own benefits, like it, it is your very good mind exercise, it improves your thinking technique and, and it also helps in studies. So chess has so many benefits that it should be, we should involve maximum number of players with it. So associations have to work and government have to do something like they have to support the upcoming young players. And many players left playing chess at the when they, uh, they are in 11th class. At your class, you see, you see, after the tenth, they have to take their direction towards studies or sports. So, if you are not at a very uh, top level of the game, you can't play sports yeah, anymore. Have uh, yeah, they have to uh, take the studies as their preference uh, as a career. So, they have to put their whole energy in in play, uh, studies. So, they have to leave chess or any sports they are playing at at the eleventh grade of studies. So for that purpose, I think government should support the upcoming players. They have to see uh, they do, uh, see what who are the uh, state champions or who are getting uh, capable of like, getting national positions. So the government should sponsor, associations should work in this direction. Only then we can hope that we have a good chess players from Punjab. Otherwise, it's still going. So I have seen the uh, status, the players only the who are dedicated and are taking their own risk and their own spend their own money. Only they players got succeeded or got titles. Three, four players are titles in Punjab. The situation is not that good for Punjab uh, in Punjab or chess players. That's it. Yeah. Uh, talking about that, talking about thinking, I as out of my viewers, you, know, you may also know I like to study philosophy, mm-hmm. and I am actually organizing another lecture in my school. It's mm-hmm. regarding thinking, and okay. I have given a like a full portion of the lecture to okay. chess. Okay. It's actually. Uh, it has a lot of philosophical and scientific uh, explanations to it, mm-hmm. and I think you need to check that video out. Yeah, yeah, I see that. that. Uh, so, um, I think we need to wrap up the episode today. So, uh, can you like uh, give a message to the viewers? My message to the viewers is that uh, 
work with discipline dedication determination work hard and you can achieve any goal you want to do just work hard and work with determination that's it thank you see no argument against it but <laughs> well, thank you for watching this was your host chinnavi jaga or sarcastic cj uh, stay curious and keep questioning cool cj 1 2 3 cool cj 1 2 3 cool cj cool cj